Hello, this is Bricks All Over, and now I am doing a review on Lego Movie Double Decker Couch, set number 70818, recommended ages 8 to 7 to 14, has 197 pieces, 5 minifigures, and costed about $15. The first minifigure of this set is Benny, and this is an awesome minifigure to add to your collection if you don't have it, because the only other way you could have gotten it was the $100 Benny Spaceship, Spaceship, Spaceship. But this is actually a different version for the face. And for some reason, he has a sausage. I don't remember that part in the movie. But as you can see, it has the same helmet and same torso where it looks like it's the old figure. So let's do a 360 view of him. As you can see, he has the air tanks. And he also has that second face, which he's starting to get excited. Maybe he's about to build a spaceship. I had to stop the camera because the backdrop was about to fall, but continuing on with looking at Benny. So now let's move on to the next minifigure. The next minifigure we have here is Confused Kitty, and as you can see, she is in the sitting position now, instead of like all the other sets where she's doing the standing, which is really cool that LEGO decided to make a different version, and also the face is exclusive because it's Confused Kitty, and then you can spin her around, and she has the same tail, but it's just... The different bri bricks that build her sitting position, which you can see the different bricks they use right there. And also another cool thing about Unikitty is that they included a sad kitty piece, which replaces the confused pity kitty face, which goes like right there. You have to switch out the pieces, but... Some of the pieces you can um, have in the extra pieces, and you may have the other ones, the other pieces that complete the other guy. The next minifigure we have here is Ghost Vitruvius, and it's kind of strange that they decided to choose a ghost figure, but it's cool that they di made this version in it. The headman makes this ghost piece exclusive, and he also has... Um, this one by one by two brick that makes up his pants, and it's basically the same print as you would get in the other one, in the normal version. And you also get the glittery cape still, and then you have the same staff that he gets when he's blind, which is pretty accurate to the movie, so that's pretty cool. The next mini figure we have here is Emmett, and he... Is a great minifigure to get even though he's not really exclusive for the torso and pants but like this is the normal version besides that his face is slightly different than the CM CMF version but he also has a second face that's completely exclusive but also really cool that they added is the waffle that he had in the movie which is the first time Lego has ever made a waffle and then, of course, the same back printing as other versions. And that is the exclusive face you get. The first time he has ever been sad on the Lego minifigure version. So that's Emmett. The final figure we have here is Lord Business, also known as President Business. And this figure is exclusive just because of the headpiece. It has two exclusive faces. This first one is a happy face when he's celebrating Taco Tuesday. And the torso and legs are the same, of course. And then the hair's the same. And then the other face is confused, which is still exclusive. Which is really cool that they include these exclusive faces on such a cheap set. So now let's go on to Emmett's car. Here's Emmett's car and just to note that they have made a set 
a few sets that have smart cars that look like this, but this is different, and they also made a Toys R Us build of Emma's car. They had it last year, I think, and it was pretty similar, but this has very few differences, but still very cool and unique. It has the wind, the um, river view mirrors, and in the back, you get Emmett's hat with, it has a little, like, that's in the little trunk, except it doesn't have the hair piece, as you can see there. Of course, the doors do open on both sides. And the main thing that makes this different than the other ones is that it has the printed radio tile, which is really cool. Very accurate to the movie, and it can fit Emmett inside the car. And now here is the double-decker couch. It is very cool with the light blue, and I can see people trying to build this, but I don't think they would have all the colors unless they went off a of BrickLink, but this is a really cool thing, very accurate to the movie. And one thing to note, this is the same double-decker couch from Metal Beard Sea Cow, which is $250, so I'm glad they made this in a $15 set. And as you can see, it has the cup holders, the ladders, the brown ladders. It, it's a very sturdy build. It's As you can see, they use Technic instead of like just regular bricks to connect it. And it has four, four spots where the minifigures go on. And it makes them really comfortable. They wouldn't... They, and it looks better that they tile the other parts off, otherwise it would look like it has a lot of studs and then people would want to squish other minifigures on there, which you might be able to, but you don't have, it doesn't come with the pieces that make it have studs that would make them sit better. And if you've seen my mock video I made, it's probably mox number two. And you've seen I made a Unikitty double-decker couch. And as you can see, the set one is actually larger, which, of course, I didn't have the set when I was trying to build this. But it's, I'm so proud of what I did, but, and I also forgot the cup holders, but I think both of them are really cool. So here's the box of the set, and like I said, it's a fifteen-dollar set, so that's what the size you would expect on this set. It has the minifigures down in that corner, and here is the other thing. There's a scene from when Cloud Cuckoo Land got destroyed, and other little scenes and features, and it also shows Vitruvius glows in the dark, which I forgot to show you. But the reason I didn't show you is because it the lighting doesn't work very well so apparently on this camera it doesn't show it glow in the dark very well so just so you know the true ghost for Trivius does glow in the dark my final thoughts the lego movie double decker couch is so cool it has a great value of fifteen dollars for what seems like a twenty dollar set piece count for 197 pieces and it has five figures that are exclusive variants with a lot of different faces and it also includes the sitting kitty which is really cool and it also includes two faces for unikitty and this is such a great value because there's a lot of figures that you can get in this that are either exclusive or you have to pay a high price for besides this such as benny so that was my review on the double decker couch Tell me you guys what you guys think of this down in the comment below and please give this a good a big thumbs up not as not a side thumb but thanks for watching bye